goody was goody. All right, here showing up at the fighter house. It's Sunday. Uh, just get to recollect from the week, cover, do all the things, get everything that we need done for the week. But regular shit, everyday shit, laundry, get the food ready. It's really a chill day, another chill day we had, so. Been in camp right now for about two months. Grinding, full time, staying right here at the new fighter house. Um, you know, when the COVID hit, and I know I've talked a couple of times about this, when the COVID hit, it was like we had to make some changes and had to figure out what we wanted to do. And like I said, you know, I'm at the point in my career where I need the best, I need the best looks. I need the best atmosphere around me. I need the best management. I need the best fight, everything to come together. And um, you know, that's what that's what we brought here. We brought this into play. Thank God for my boy Dakota. Um, you know, he's been a big team player for this camp and, and ever since he's been with the team and shit like that making making the dream work for real for real um when you have a spot like this it's one thing to have a gym it's one thing to have a fight team it's another thing to have a real training camp like you can make money and and enter the business as a business but that's not what i do that's not what i've done ever since that i put together the mayans eight years ago now you know so about seven years, eight years, we've been running. So it wasn't to uh, make money. Like I make money off of my fighting. Eventually I get into the UFC or Bellator and I'll make my money like that. Um, I have no intentions of becoming a coach. I have no intentions of becoming a trainer of any type. And uh, just because I can't do that doesn't mean that's what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, that's the fallback. That's the, that's what I get after I accomplish the goals and things that I want for my occupation, which I've been chasing now for 12 years, um, from an amateur to a pro. It's been a 12 year grind. And I had to make moves within that entire time frame to be where I'm at right now. And the biggest move that I made was moving out here to Canton, which Canton, Cleveland area, this used to be the heart of MMA. This was uh, when the NWFS was around and there was no COVID and motherfuckers were just fighting all the time. Like this was the, the proving grounds, like they used to call it. And um, you know, if you wanted to go to the UFC or the bigger promotions, you got fights with the NWFS. You went through their system and their rankings because that's what they were known for, pushing guys into the bigger league. So, you know, nine years now I've been grinding and, and out here living full time. And, um, you know, that was the first big move. And I feel like within your career, you got to make some big life changing moves. Otherwise, you don't A, deserve it and B, yeah, it's it's just regular player shit. If you want to be a professional athlete and a professional fighter at that, you gotta make big moves. You gotta be willing to take risks and and calculate measures and and you know, my boy my boy said something to me a couple weeks back. He's like, man, every time you do this, you know, I get a takedown because I know it's kind of wolf. Well, fuck yeah, but it's a calculated risk. You know what's coming, but. That guy who's at a different training camp don't know it's coming. So this lifestyle is about all about calculated risks. And for this camp, coming back after the COVID, taking that time off, I really sat back and said, we're gonna do this all the way or no way. So that's what we did with my boy Dakota. We sat down, had a conversation. Now we got the fighter house in play been here for two months now grinding the fuck out and you know it's played out I literally hit training camp 10 weeks 
this coming up week. And uh, originally we were scheduled for November 21st. Indiana got shut down, Kentucky got shut down, Michigan about to get shut out, like the states are starting to close again, so puts a little twist on the game. It is what it is. I got the best management in the game, so she gonna find me something, hopefully. Otherwise, you know, um, I'm here for my team. And right now, I got my guy, three guys on December 5th, out there in Columbus. Um, they got two weeks to grind and they've been able to take advantage of the fighter house too. One of them come up and stay during the week time, goes home on the weekends. Uh, the guy just comes, maybe stays overnight, whatever, uses the daytime to just chill here, go to the sessions. Um, my boy Cola from Columbus, he's coming out mainly during the week. You know what I'm saying? So it makes the dream work for real. And uh, I'm just happy to, that we got in motion and time for to get these camps kicked off and, and uh, you know, just, just make everything go smooth, you know? So training camp's been tough. It's been how it's supposed to be. And uh, a lot of it is because of the fighter house. Um, able to go to session to session and get your meals ready in between sessions and get your recovery. We got a badass house right here, like, like, we got a jacuzzi in the, in the, in the, in the casa. Right here, every day for recovery. I hit it four or five times a week now, you know, so. We have everything we hit. We're five minutes from the gym, um, right on the highway, right down the block to FFLA. When we go there for sparring, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really brought things together and, and exactly what we needed for this camp and um you know i'm just happy I'm, I'm blessed to have the team that i have behind me and like i said my management's working great for me finding me fight after fight keeping me busy during the COVID, which is not easy right now um you know my sponsors came together and plugged me up as always you know getting me together they're the reason why i'm able to do this full time so a lot of guys are like damn how you do it for me well i mean i branded myself out i got five to seven nationally known sponsors and I got five to seven locally, local sponsors. And they all come together to, to form my team. They pay, they pay for my training, my gas, my food, everything that I have in this lifestyle is taken care of. And uh, you know, it's really because of the guidance that I've had that I've been able to put this all together. Um, this has been by far the best training camp I've ever had, mentally, physically, emotionally, all together. And um, to have it coming together like it should and how it's supposed to be feels good. Um, I have two good, good coaches behind me that, that got my back 100%. That's been a huge problem in the past, over the past three years is that, you know, I have good coaches around me. But yeah, they gotta show up on game day too. This ain't just a, I show up to fight. Nah, you supposed to have my back. That last conditioning coach I had, whack. Didn't do shit. Like, says he was about it. He wasn't about it. He's about business. That's cool and all. But that's not, I told guys, that's not what I do. I make, I make that money later after I can't walk no more and punch drunk. You know what I'm saying? After another 10 years in this lifestyle. I know what I got left in me. And I needed this place and this camp to bring it all together. Now I got my coaches in line, my teams in line. I don't bite the bullet for this guy or this coach or this, nah. This is what we're doing. If you can get with a program, then sure, you can be part of the team. If not, if you ain't about this full life, then I can't I can't help you. With the COVID here, we have to be extra careful with training. From even wiping off these doorknobs every day and, and cleaning the gym multiple times a day. You know, I told everybody we went back to the farm and we ain't got, we're not open to the public because of the COVID, only my team trains there. That don't mean I don't have numbers that I calculate. That don't mean that I don't clean the gym multiple times a day. That don't mean that I'm not, I'm not taking the extra precautions to keep my lifestyle intact. I've had two fights, one boxing fight, one MMA fight since the COVID, and I tested negative both times for it. 
all of my coaches tested negative. So I'm doing something right. And, um, you know, I'm fortunate to have my boy Dakota here, um, who's the owner of this house, who's the owner of Highway Tire, who's one of my sponsors now. So make sure you give them a look up right here in Maslin on corner of 21 and Lake. Um, you know, it's, it's everything's in full swing. So I'm blessed, I'm happy about it. And uh, like I said, should have fight news for everybody coming Monday. Um, I said yes. <laughs> Real talk, I ain't, I ain't gonna pull it. My opponent said yes. His his uh, his coach is James Krause out at Glory MMA, and uh, I guess he's on the fence about it. It is what it is. I'm always ready. If you guys ain't ready, I mean, I wouldn't take the fight against me either. So it is what it is. Uh, we're in the comeback season. We're full go right now. Full swing. Training camp almost done. I feel great. I've had three competitions almost I'll have by the time this is over. And uh, on my weight has never been this phenomenal. Um, I've taken care of all of my strength and conditioning, all of my fitness, all of my body type. This is the most ripped, lean, and in shape I've ever been. So uh, I pulled out all the stops on this one and um, rightfully so. You know, we're ready to go kick this comeback season off. And um, like I said, hope, hopefully uh, my manager can get things locked down and we're just waiting on them. But that's all we're waiting for. So as soon as I know, y'all gonna know. And uh, like I said, we ready. This is the best training camp we've had yet. And um, I'm blessed to have it. So I appreciate all my team sponsors, my management, my boys, everybody on the team who, you know, when I asked to get a COVID test, they just don't even worry about it, bro. I'm gonna go get it. They go and get it, boom, it's done. Paperwork in hand, show it to my one. Hey, it's nice and clean. You know, the guys that didn't wanna get it or have regular responsibility, lifestyles that they have to do, I can't make them get it, you know? So that's why you don't see them in camps. And you know, it is what it is, but this is real life shit. This is grown ass man shit. If you don't do what American Top Team says, you don't fight. And if you do fight, it's not under their banner. So that ain't no different. I ran this team now for seven, eight years and, and our product speaks for itself. My career is separate from my team's career. My team's career is like, shit, like 40 and four, only legit losses. Um, tough losses that I, that I accept, um, you know, but things are revamped. It's a different game now. So we had to change with the times, change with the game and just adapt, evolve and get better. And that's where we at, um, staying active and, and right here, the MFT fighter house. Big, big move, big power move right here. So appreciate my guys and that's what's happening. That's what's been happening for two months. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna get done right before the holidays, be able to take off the holidays. You won't even see me in the gym. Reason being, I need to spend some family time. You know, it is what it is. It's, it's a lifestyle, but it's also a realistic lifestyle. So family time is important. I come out here and grind in this. Boom, get my work in, get the fight in, take the holidays off, come back 2021, see where we at, see where COVID's at, see what we had to have of us, and make adjustments for next year. So that's what we're doing, and that's what we've been doing. So that's what we at, and this is what we're going to be. Hit up all my social medias. Go follow the grind. Go follow my boys grind. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Both mine and the Mayans page. MFT and the May. Go check us out. Stay tuned. And uh, gonna kind of get ready to end the 2K20 season. Crumple it up. Toss it in the trash. Wait for next year. Hopefully 2021. Got some big things for the, for the fight world and sports industry. So... We're going to see how it works, but 
hey, tú sabes, vamos.